What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we have another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet leaks update. And in today's episode, we have something really awesome to cover. We got some mechanics that are returning to Scarlet and Violet, which a lot of people are going to be really excited about. More information about new Pokemon, and we've actually compiled all of the new Pokemon confirmed so far on one little image. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Today's leaks have been awesome because we got some returning mechanics that I'm so excited about. We got Alpha Pokemon from Legends Arceus coming back. They're not gonna be called Alpha Pokemon, but they are going to have the similar functionality of big Pokemon with probably like red eyes to determine that they are a field boss. And when you encounter them, they're gonna be much higher level than you and they're gonna be an actual challenge. And if they can be shiny on the overworld, which I'm probably gonna guess Pokemon will be shiny on the overworld again, that's gonna be really fun to try to hunt an entire alpha dex. And once again, mass outbreaks are also back from Legends Arceus. So that is gonna be really fun. The combination of alpha and mass outbreaks, I'm assuming that alpha Pokemon would be in mass outbreaks just like they were in Legends Arceus. And we're gonna be able to shiny hunt mass outbreaks. I assume this will be the best shiny hunting method for Scarlet and Violet, it makes sense. And it's probably gonna have some VGC utility as well with getting Pokemon of really good IVs, getting Pokemon with probably egg moves. So this is gonna be phenomenal stuff overall. And apparently it's gonna be related to this story, similar to Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we do get size variations again, of course. I mean, if there's alpha Pokemon, we're gonna have to have big Pokemon and small Pokemon. So the big question is, will my Pokemon for Pokemon Legends Arceus, when I transfer them over in Pokemon Home, will they keep the exact same size? And I think, honestly, yes. And I think for the Alpha Dex people for Pokemon Legends Arceus, I think you bring all, all your Alpha Pokemon over and they'll just be big as hell again. We also learned that Giraffe Ridge's evolution, which is displayed here, is going to be a pure psychic type. It's not going to be psychic normal, not gonna be psychic dark, which is what I was hoping for. It's gonna be pure psychic. I think that's a huge miss because at least psychic normal did give it the ghost immunity, which is so valuable overall. And it just honestly made it have such a unique typing. Pure Psychic is not that interesting. And Psychic Dark would have been really interesting too overall. Giving you the immunity to Psychic and you're going to be able to do super effective damage to ghost types. And overall, I thought it would have been a really good type combo. But sadly, that is what we're just getting with Giraffe Ridge. There's also confirmation that a brand new Dung Beetle Pokemon is coming to Scarlet and Violet. And this is probably going to be a bug in Poison or a bug in Ground type. It's going to evolve once. So we're going to have to wait and see what the typing actually is. But I am a big fan of a Dung Beetle Pokemon because I think it's going to be really unique. And it is a pretty cool animal in the the actual world so i'm pretty excited about that and you know there's a lot of bug type love happening in this game so as a big bug type fan this is phenomenal news and apparently an ancient and future pokemon have very weird names they follow a pattern but don't include the name of the original pokemon which is a little bit different than what i recorded yesterday but they're gonna have a pattern so it's gonna be like blank and whatever the name's gonna be, but it's all gonna be sharing the same blank for ancient and all be sharing the same blank for future. So like ancient blank, future blank as an example. So I think that's pretty interesting. We're just gonna have to wait and see what that actually means. Hopefully we get a new trailer to actually clear this stuff up. Now for the real news right here. There's a new parakeet Pokemon that is single stage. Whatever about that. What really matters here is Dunsparce's evolution as a pure normal type. And I'm a little bit hurt. I'm a little bit hurt. Here's my thing. Dunsparce, I love this Pokemon with everything in my heart, but it's going to still be a normal type. I'm not happy about that. I think it should have been normal dragon. I think normal ground would have made the most sense or become like fairy ground because it does sort of look like a fairy. It sort of looks like a fairy to me, honestly. I can see that. But like pure normal, I, I'm not going to say it's going to be bad. I'm not going to say it's going to be bad because an evolution of Dunsparce is probably going to make it with the stat boost. It'll give it what it needs. As long as it still has Serene Grace, easy way to paralyze, and easy way to flinch. This Pokemon's going to be pretty decent overall. But pure normal, a little bit disappointing. I was really hoping for like a normal fairy at the end of the day or a normal dragon. But hey, I'm just happy that Dunsparce is getting some love finally. It's literally waiting like almost my entire life for this. So I'm happy. And we do get a future species of a sumo Pokemon, which is probably going to be Hariyama. It could be Makahita, but Hariyama is the evolved form and is much more of a sumo type. And apparently the ability download has been removed because there's no Pokemon in the game that have it because there is no Porygon. So Porygon fans, I'm sorry, there is no Porygon for you in the game. So now we get to all of the new Pokemon for Gen 9 coming. 
This is everything that has been leaked, and this is not including everything. And Centro has made a note. There's still about 40 to 70 Pokemon that still haven't leaked yet, just to give you an idea of how much we've actually seen. So we have seen about 72 Pokemon right now, and there's about 40 to 70 left. So best case scenario, we have only seen half of the new Pokedex. That's awesome. And we know the typings of the starters here. So Grass Star for Spigarito. Fire Ghost for Fake Coco, Water Fighting for Quaxley, and now we know that Pommy is a three-stager with an Electric Fighting for the last one. We don't know what's going to happen for the second one, but I hope it gets Electric Fighting earlier. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, this Pokemon could easily make my team with its apparently new unique attack that automatically revives a Pokemon that has fainted in your party. I think that's going to be really good for competitive play. We know that small is going to be three stager and it's going to end up being an olive tree and it's grass normal. I think it's going to be grass normal the entire time because it's going to be weird if it's just like grass normal and then it changes. I don't know. We got LeChonk has an evolution. We did hear rumors that LeChonk's evolution will have a gender variant. So we're just going to have to see. There's a dolphin Pokemon, which I'm going to assume is going to be part water, but I think it's going to be a dual typing. But apparently something special about the dolphin is going to be shown. So we're going to see. There's also a flamingo that is flying, uh, fighting. And part of me is going to think that maybe the dolphin and the flamingo are going to be version exclusives because they're both single stage Pokemon. Both of them are related to water. I can definitely see it happening. And maybe the dolphin is going to be water psychic to balance out the flying fighting. Perhaps. I mean, dolphins are really smart and they live in the water. So it's not the worst a prediction out there there was the new flower pokemon we saw that was all crystallized with the new mechanic and we know there is three different dog lines coming and we know one is going to be the uh, ace for the ghost type gym leader we do not know how, any other information about the other dog lines but i'm very happy we're getting more dogs you know more more puppies out there more little pups more hound hours more growlers let's go we love that we got the coin based Pokemon, which was the object mon. I'm pretty sure this is probably going to evolve at some point, but we have no actual confirmation of that yet. We got the new ostrich that looks like Cleopatra is probably going to be a psychic type. We got the uh, spider Pokemon that apparently actually does evolve. So this should probably say 73 because we did get confirmation that the spider is going to be a two stage Pokemon. So, and it's going to be web based. So it's going to be bug and something. I mean, I guess you can't just say it's bug because they didn't confirm the type, but it is a spider. So I'm going to assume it's going to be like a bug type and something else. We get a bike Pokemon. We get an earthworm Pokemon, which I think it's safe to assume it's going to be ground in bug and it's going to not evolve. We got a grass fire type that's going to be unknown. We don't know it's going to evolve yet. We got a Japanese samurai bug. So more bug types on the board. And the pink lolly is a fairy and it evolves. We know both are going to be a fairy type because the Elite Four member uses this as its ace. But it is a dual type. So we don't know if the Elite Four member will have fairy as their main type. And I don't think they will. We also learned about an Icicle Pokemon that's two-stage. Salt Pokemon is two-stage. I think the Salt Pokemon will be Rock-type because Salt is a mineral. We get an Engine and an Engine Evolution. We get another Beetle and a, another Beetle Evolution. I think this is referring to the Dung Beetle, which I mentioned earlier. I think it's going to be Bug Poison or Bug Ground. We get a Parakeet. Then the Primate Evolution, which is probably going to keep the Fighting type, but I think it's going to add a secondary typing. I can see Fighting Steel, personally, because Primate does have like braces on it, the Steel Braces. The Giraffe's Evolution, which is unfortunately pure Psychic. Murkrow gets an Evolution, which we don't know. I assume, I want to say it's going to be Dark Ground, because I think that would be a really cool typing overall. Dunspar's Evolution is only normal. By Sharp Evo, we don't know. This is probably going to be the King Pokemon. And then we get a Wooper Evolution as well for Regional Wooper. And we're going to have to see, but we do know it's going to be a Poison type. And then the Ancient Pokemon, so Ancient Jiggly, which we don't know. These aren't the right names, by the way. It's like, we don't even know what it's called, but we know it's just, this. everything's the same besides like, actually everything's different besides the actual look of the Pokemon. So Jiggly, Amoongus, Mischievous, Volcarona, Ancient Gen 2 Pokemon, Ancient or Future Salamans, Ancient Pseudo, Future Volcarona, Future Delibird, Future Gallade, and Gardevoir combo. Gen 5 Bug Pokemon, which, I mean, we already got Volcarona, so what else could there be? I guess, like, Scolipede or, like, Garvantula. I mean, there's a couple others, right? Uh, Je future Gen 2 Pokemon. Then the Hariyama getting a future. And then we get the Water-type Diglett and Tugdrio. And then we get the Gen 1 Water type Regional Fake, which we don't know what this is going to be. We don't know what the type's going to be because it's not going to be water. There's 17 types out there, I believe, and it's probably one of the 16 others. 
We got a we got a Quadroads legendary uh, thing going on here, and then we got Coridon and Miriadon. We already know those types. So there's a lot going on with what we know, but there's so much we don't know, and I hope to keep covering these leaks. And guys, if you really enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate that. And let me know what Pokemon you are most excited for from this big list of all the confirmed Pokemon, all the confirmed new Pokemon coming to Scarlet and Violet. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a great one.